Hello. <clears throat> All right. Happy, happy Tuesday. Make sure I can hear myself. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Got it. Good, good, good. I believe I'm good to go on the microphone and everything. I'm going to give it just a minute and let some people start popping on. Really excited to share this craft with y'all. Get everything squared away. <clears throat> well, hi, hi, Laurie, hi, Kathy, hi, Regley, hi, Karen, hello, hello. Um, so I'm Sarah, and I am uh, t t I'm the owner of Tenderfoot Village. Uh, this is my thing. Um, but anyway, I uh, I know a lot of people um, have really wanted me to do a live craft again and I have really wanted to as well. I wanted to find something in this new um, style that I've been doing uh, that would be <clears throat> easy for a beginner, um, any anyone from beginner to advanced, but it would the the ability would be easy enough for a beginner to do as well. So I wanted to come up with something and I thought this little flower is a perfect little um, way to go about that. So we are going to make this little craft, little craft foam flower and I'll turn it around so you can see. Uh, this is what we're working on today. The pattern and supply list are in the files tab in uh, my, in this group. Um, and yeah, so everything you need should be able to be found there. The little pots, um, I have a link in my store in my Amazon storefront, which is in the pattern. So when you click on the pattern and you scroll down to the supply list, you should see a link to my Amazon storefront. So you can see what these are called and where I get them. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Hobby Lobby also sells them. So there are options there. You also don't have to use this little pot. You could use a K cup. Uh, container and make your own little pot out of that and put some little um, aquarium gravel in the bottom if you'd like. There's a lot of different things that you can do to make this your own. Um, so Karen is saying, Karen double check that because I saw that too and I went and updated it so it should work now. I would say um, try re-downloading the pattern because the one I added at 8 o'clock this morning, uh, the link was directly to my a specific class. It was to the Bumblebee class, but I fixed the link and it is to my storefront now and you should be able to see the different classes and the different like little... Um, I'm going to start creating, like, I don't know what they're called, little folders, if you will, or albums of things, supplies for specific classes and things like that, so they're organized and people have an idea of where to go. But you should see that in there now. <clears throat> okay, so this is a really, really fun class. Really quick before I um, get going, I really do want to show you what we just made in the Makers Club. Um, if you are not aware or did not know about the Makers Club, I have a monthly membership that um, I do craft classes of different kinds. We do all kinds of whimsical crafts. And this little mermaid is what we made in there um, this last time. And I'll just kind of rotate her around so you can see. Uh, but she is what we did in our most recent class. And um, if you want information, just you're feel free to send me a PM or um, you can comment if you'd like below and let me know. Uh, if you're watching the replay, just tag replay and let me know and I'll be sure and get to you. Okay, so let's talk about supplies really quick. You're going to need some super glue. You're going to need a pot or container of some sort. They do have the little uh, terracotta pots, the tiny little ones at Walmart and at uh, Dollar Tree. I don't know for sure. I think you can order them on dollartree.com if you can't find them in your store at this point. Um, and then you're gonna need some um, barbecue skewers or like these little nail 
things. I'm just using this because this is, I have these right here conveniently, but I love using the barbecue skewers as well. And then you're going to need a uh, Sharpie. I recommend a black Sharpie fine point marker for this craft. You'll need a piece of uh, some different colors of, of craft foam. You're going to need one for the face and then you'll need um, another color for your flower and then your green that you want for your petals um, or your leaves, excuse me. <clears throat> your petals are going to be that color. And I did do a blue as well. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do the yellow. We'll see how it turns out um, and kind of go from there. We're going to start with this piece right here. Let's get that really quick out of the way. And you're also going to need um, some craft paint, some black craft paint for your eyes. And then you want to also have some kind of wire this is just that stiff floral wire. This is already beeping at me, y'all. Sorry about that. This is stiff floral wire. Um, they sell it in the floral department at Walmart. You can find it at most craft stores. This is not the one that has the fabric type thread material wrapped around it, but you could use that as well. Um, I just chose to use this one. It's a little bit darker. Hello, hello. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me set this stuff off to the side really quick. I'm gonna want this to be nearby me. And I'm gonna take, so on your pieces, this you want to have one of these cut out. And I've already got my iron or my heat press, my heat source. I like a heat press. I had tell my members all the time, I had this forever and never even used it for what its purpose is, which is like making shirts and things like that. Um, and I almost got rid of it and started doing this, uh, this <clears throat> craft foam craft. And so this has come in so handy, but you, an iron will work just fine. You want to set your iron to your highest setting for a heat press. I have my heat press set to 320. And the only frustrating thing is it will start to beep at you and scare the badoobies out of you out of nowhere. And I just made up that word, but anyway. Okay, so I've got this warmed up and I wanna take my crap, my piece and you wanna look on your craft foam because sometimes they have like little bubbles that they get in just the processing of this um, material. Um, and if that is the case, you just want that to be on the back side. So I'm just gonna kind of decide which side I want to be the front, and this is gonna be mine. So I'm gonna lay this down, and then as it bubbles up, it puffs up a little bit, I am going to force these, and I'm gonna use my thumb, the shape of my thumb, and just kind of curl these little petals. And you wanna work a little bit quickly while the um, foam is still warm, but it stays warm for a moment. And so there we've created the shape of our little flower petal. You can kind of see that it's not flat anymore. Now, one of the things that I want to do right now before we get going any further, and I probably could have done this before this, before I put it on the heat source. So I have some chalk pastels. I also have some, um, these are oil pastels. And these are water soluble oil pastels. I really like them. So you could use either one of these. And I'm just going to go around the edge and kind of create some depth for this character. I want to test this before I do it on my character, though, because I want to make sure that um, it's going to it's going to contrast for one, and it's not going to be a bad contrast. So that's a that's I like that. It's a little too light colored, I think, to show up on my character. Let's try this one. That one's okay. Let's see about this one. Oh, that might be too. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might end up going with that, which is kind of an uh, ochre. Oh, there's a good one too. Okay. So the cool thing about using craft foam is you can, I mean, uh, chalk pastel is that you can, um, you can keep, get it wet or you can keep it dry and work with it. And then these are the, so the same thing with these, the cool thing about working with these is you can draw them on and use your paintbrush to activate them and move the water, move the uh, color around, which I'll show you really quick what this one's like. And also you wanna make sure that it's clean before you get started, otherwise you're gonna end up with a bunch of different uh, colors 
on accident on your character, which we do not want. And they do bump into each other a lot. So I'm just going to show you what this one looks like. It's a little more subtle. I believe we're probably going to go ahead and go with this one. I have not added this to my storefront yet, but if you're interested, I will add this to the storefront as well um, once I get off the live because I, I really do enjoy using these. And I think I, this is what I'm actually going to end up using. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to activate it right now unless I don't love the, the way it's looking. If it's looking too sharp, then I'll go and kind of soften up the edge. But right now, I'm just going to take, and I'm left-handed, so I'm going to try and make it to where you can see without me getting on it. So I'm just going to draw around the edge of the petals. Let's get you down here closer to me. We don't need that right now. More of these. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to, like I said, trace it around. You can use your finger and get it a little bit messy. I love to get my fingers involved in whatever craft I'm doing. I'm going to rotate it and do every petal. And once this dries, it will stay. Um, you don't have to worry about it reactivating or anything like that. I uh, first found out about these when I was doing a lot of mixed media with drawing and painting. I was taking a year-long course by this girl named Tam Laporte, and she does she has a, a year-long uh, drawing and painting thing that she does. It's called Lifebook. And I really, I loved it because I loved learning about all the different new materials you learn from all different types of instructors. It was really, really fun. If you've not checked that out or heard of it before, you should definitely uh, check it out. Um, some of my, some of my sweetest friends that I've made, um, I met through that community. And Tam is really great. Okay. And she's also easy to learn from if you're ever curious about that. So, um... It's a little bit on the light side, but I think it'll be okay. May, let's be crazy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra. Nah, it's not doing anything, so we'll leave it like that. But I do like it. Let me show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get my finger in here, rough it up, smudge it. Just really kind of take those sharp edges off. Okay, let me show you what this looks like up close. Oops, helps if you can see it in the camera. Ooh, this is super hard to get. Hold on just a second. There we go. You can see it's pretty faint and it's not showing up as much on the camera as it does in real life, but you kind of get the idea. Okay, so now we're gonna set this piece aside and we are going to do the same thing with these little pieces really quick. I lost my, there we go. So I'm gonna, on the outside edge, this sharp straight edge is going to be, um, it, it's going to be hidden, so you don't need to put any color on this straight edge, but the curved edge, we wanna add a little bit of color to as well. So I'm just gonna go and add a little bit of color. And the, one of the things I love about the craft foam um, crafts is it's so affordable. Everything is very, very affordable and pretty easy to acquire. Some of the colors of craft foam are a little bit harder to get a hold of, but they're not impossible. Now, really quick, I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want to get that yellow on um, surfaces on other things that I don't want it on. So I'm just going to wipe off my mat real quick. Now, I am going to take a piece of my tan, my skin color, tan color, whatever you want to call it, and let me scoot you up just a little bit. And I'm going to, the idea with this is when you're going to cover a, like a ball or a half ball, is you use the measurement of two fingers 
pretty much on all sides. So I'm just shy. This is a scrap piece of paper, a piece of craft foam that I wanted to go ahead and use. So I think it's going to be okay. And then I have created these little things to help me. Uh, these allow me to press uh, on my different size ball. You'll see me, I'm gonna use this littlest, tiniest one. Um, but that way I don't damage the styrofoam while I'm pushing, applying that pressure. Let's set that over there, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna set that on there and then I'm gonna take this piece and I, there is a bubble right here. Ooh, I think it's gonna be fine because on this side I've got a little tiny bit of um, super glue that has dried on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, hold on really quick, because I know this thing's gonna beep at me in just like two seconds. So I'm gonna lay this, let's get you up here where you can see. So I'm gonna lay this on my heat source, and you'll see it start to relax and lay flat, and then once it's ready, it will kind of pop up. So see how it popped up like that? That's how I know this is ready, and I'm gonna push this down, and then I'm gonna turn it, and push this down and just kind of help it curl around. And then once it's kind of set, I'm gonna pick it up and help it. And I don't think that this activated quite all the way, but this'll be fine. So I'm just stretching that craft foam all the way around. And then once I've got it where I want it, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors. And I'm gonna cut the excess off way. Oh, and this right here, I just used a little, um, this is a, a glitter container. You can probably maybe see some of the glitter speckles that's in there somewhere still, but, um, and I just put a little bit of my scrap craft foam on there. Okay, let's see. Regina said add a little mod lodge on the rim in the end, plus a little diamond dust. Yes, absolutely. And you can do anything you'd like to make it your own. My goal in, in this is just to show how easy, to give you a jumping off point. Um, I wanna show you the simplest way possible to make the character. And then I want you guys to run with it and really make it your own, spruce it up. Um, I encourage you to just have fun with these. They can be really, really beautiful and wonderful. Um, like I said, my goal is to, to get your creative juices flowing. Okay, so now I've got this cut. I'm actually gonna go around with my super glue and I like this super glue. This is my absolute favorite right now. Let's get you up really close. This is 10 second activation or hold. So it only takes about 10 seconds for it to grab. So this is my favorite one right now. I have another one that doesn't work quite as well. That's a 10 second hold. I love the one in the yellow. So just remember, and it has a little brush on the end and it's really affordable. I did add this. This is in the Amazon, my Amazon storefront, but you can find it at Walmart um, and probably most craft stores. Okay. Now I'm going to take my hand and I like to kind of apply about equal pressure, just pulling up and around the edge of that. And then I'm just gonna keep rubbing to keep pushing and it'll push out any glue in those creases or edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this aside for a second and grab my other pieces. Oops, I dropped my little leaf. Okay, so I'm gonna take this as well. And I think for this one, I am gonna use my, um, my chalk pastel. And I'm just gonna take this green. It's a little darker. And I'm just going to kind of Gently trace it around the edge of my petal, of my leaf. My petal, I keep saying that. Okay. Just a little bit 
You can add a little bit more if you like, and then we'll probably use our brush and pull it in just a little bit. Maybe I'll add like, you know what I need to do? Hold on just a second. I'm gonna take my skewer and not too hard, but I am gonna apply a decent amount of pressure and I'm just gonna draw a line on that leaf. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one, starting in the middle. Let's see if I can show you the best way like this. I'm gonna draw a line starting right in the middle. Try to make sure you guys can see real good. And I'm gonna just pull it like that. Put that back. And then I'm gonna trace that line and get this in the crack. And then again, trace in the edge of the leaf. I almost said petal again. Had to really think about that. Okay, so there's that one. Whoops. Right there. Yeah. It's hard to figure out where the camera is. Or looking or something like that. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the, the edges of this one. I'm just going to go around. All right, put that back. Let me use my wipe, wipe my hands off so I don't get that everywhere. You definitely want to make sure your hands are clean when you're using those types of materials. Okay, I'm gonna take this and just kind of step it up just a little bit. All right, same thing on here, just to wipe off any excess. And when you are done, you can spray this with a matte sealer. Just, I would use a matte sealer, not satin, not shiny. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the edge of my piece now that it's dry. I guess mostly dry. I'll grab my little ones. This will help. I'm just trimming along that edge. This does not have to be perfect because this is going to be hidden against the back of our character or the back of the pet, the flower. Alrighty. Let's see, now you can kind of see it's gonna go right there, but we're not ready yet. We wanna attach our um, petals to the face. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I'm gonna lay it on my heat source. Let it pop up a little bit, and I'm gonna allow it to curve. Oops. Wrong way. Allow it to curve around that ball. I'm going to lay that one down. I'm going to grab this other one. Oh, you know what? I got to wipe this off. I did the wrong side. Oh my goodness. So make sure you're doing the right side when you're doing this so that you don't run into the same issue as me. Okay, this is the right side. Let's grab that thing and try again. How funny. My bad. Hope you are all are having a good day. I'm sorry that I couldn't come on yesterday. It is crazy the amount of debris. We just, our local uh, Walmart and gas station just got power this morning. Um, I wonder, I'm sure all that food in Walmart is probably 
I don't know if they have a backup generator to keep it fresh or what, but I, I don't know. It's just crazy. It was a very weird storm that came through. So I'm just going to take that other side and put it on this side of the ball to create that shape. And then we're about ready to attach the head. I mean, the pet, the bangs. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my super glue. Now remember, the straight edge goes towards the back. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of super glue, just really thin, right there on that side. And the goal is to get it pretty well lined up with the back, okay? There's our first side. Let me grab this. Okay. And now for the second side. So same thing. Take a little bit of this. Go along that straight edge, just adding a thin layer. And then I'm gonna line it up with this. I wanna, the further over that you go over the top of the other petal is the more of a, of a bang you're gonna create. And there is the beginning of her bangs her hair i need to get this off it's driving me crazy i must have some there we go i must have i do aha got it okay so now here in just a minute you can add um, if you want this to lay down more you can add a little bit of uh, super glue to the inside of that but now we're going to go ahead and put this on here Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue for that. And I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to put the glue on the back of the head. And you can see about how much I added. And then I'm just going to lay it, try to get it pretty centered. and then just kind of press it on there. Okay. So there's the beginnings of our flower. Now, the next thing we want to do is take our skewer. It's got some paint on it. And decide, let me see, how high up is this? I would say, let's measure that really quick and see. This is, Right, right at four, four and a quarter, maybe four and a half inches is about all you need. Uh, let me cut this. There it goes. We've got to stay on. I'm going to cut this excess off. And you can always cut more off. And I kept the pointed end, okay? Now... We want to wrap this with some green, and I forgot to cut that, but that's okay. Let me see, I need my scissors. I'm gonna cut this off first, so I have plenty, and I don't have to mess with this big piece of craft foam. Okay, I'm gonna lay it long ways. I got, ooh, that's, dangerous. That's how I would do for sure. I'm going to set those off to the side. All right. Now I'm going to take my ruler. I like these metal rulers. They are so great to work with. And we're just going for about, I don't know, about a centimeter, half a centimeter. It's completely up to you. I wouldn't go more than a centimeter for sure. And then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife 
and I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna pull it straight down using that metal ruler as my guide. Okay, I'm gonna set this back aside because I don't need it anymore. All right, now I like to pull, but you don't wanna pull too hard or you'll snap your foam. I have done it myself many times. I'm just stretching the foam, also thinning it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm not gonna start all the way at the top. I'm gonna start probably about right there. So I'm gonna use my super glue for that. Lock on it. And I'm just gonna put a little dot of super glue right there. Lay this on there. Let it hold, let it grab. And now I can go ahead and start working my way around. And I'm pulling fairly tight. Definitely applying some decent pressure. And I like to go down. Let me get you real close for a second. So I like to go down and try to kind of keep it about the same like distance if that makes sense like I'm, I'm overlapping just a little bit let me get you in the camera this is hard to show make sure I stay in camera so you want to overlap just a little bit but not too much Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another little dot of hot glue, I mean, sorry, super glue, just to grab a hold. I'm just gonna put it right there on the wood. And then I'm gonna keep going and go right over that. And I flipped it around because it's easier for me to work with like this. And I'm just going to keep twisting. And again, remember just to overlap it a little bit so that way you don't have any of the wood showing through. And I'm going all the way almost to the very bottom. Okay, I'm going to stop it about right there. Uh, I need super glue. Hang on. I thought I said hot glue again, but I didn't. I'm going to put a little dot right there. Oh, you can't see it. Let me get back here. I just put a little dot of super glue right there on the craft foam, and I'm going to roll it straight. Hold it for just a second. Cut off my excess. Okay, you can check it in your pot. All right. Good to go. Now, let's go ahead and work on her face for a second. So we're going to use some craft paint and a dotting tool. And I recommend testing out your testing out your dot before you put it on the face, always. So I'm just using folk art. I like matte, I do not use satin for this. Need all that extra. So I'm gonna get some on, oh, that's way too big, I think. I'm gonna get some on my ball and I'm gonna hold my uh, hand straight up and down and dot it and that is a perfect size um, these I believe there's a link in my um, Amazon storefront uh, you can also find them at Hobby Lobby and most craft stores 
But if not, I'll double. I'm gonna double check and make sure after the live that there's a link to these as well. I love. They come in a whole set. Like I've got all of these different sizes, and I absolutely love them. And then I have these as well. This is another set right here. And these have little rubbers on the end of them. So these are a great, great for taking a lot of the guesswork out of making an eye. Now I'm going to do my best to show this. So, oh, first I have to decide where I want to put it. So let me clean that off again really quick and I'll talk to you about that. Yes, they are in my store. Good, thank you, Karen. Okay, so when I'm gonna make eyes on a character, for my characters, I love whimsical, and in whimsical creations, the eye line is low on the face, and I like big eyes, and that's another part of the whimsy. So my goal is to take and kind of create a line. Oh my goodness, I had... <laughs> What a mess, what a mess. Let's erase that best we can. Good, good, good. Okay. Man. Okay. So I'm not going to draw a line with my fingernail again. But I am kind of thinking about there being a line about midway. And then I want to stay on that line or low on, like low on that line. So my goal is in looking at this, and I like to have the eyes kind of spaced further apart. You can see that with, um, with this character as well. You can see her eyes. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to show. There's one eye. And then I like to turn it upside down because it makes me stop seeing a face and start seeing the placement better. So I can typically get them more even than if I was to hold it right side up. That's just me though. Okay, so there are our two dots for our eyes. Now, we're gonna let that dry for just a second. You can use your heat gun. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that because, no, I'll let it dry for a second because I can work on the leaves really quick. Okay, so one of the things that we want to do now, grab that wire, we're gonna work on the back side of our leaves. And I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna lay it about where I want it on there, I, I wanna be able to bend my leaf. So I'm going a little over halfway up the um, leaf. And then you want to allow plenty of uh, extra. We can always trim off the excess. So I'm gonna cut where my finger's at, and that is right at three inches is where I'm gonna be cutting. This may be different for you depending on your preference. Set that aside. Checking. Huh, okay. Let's try to check the time. Hmm. All right, now I'm gonna take my super glue, wipe off excess. I'm gonna add a line down to the end. Just make sure I have enough and it doesn't have to be thick, just a thin line works just fine. I'm gonna lay this right in there. And instead of touching with my fingers, I'm actually gonna use another barbecue skewer or, or stick or toothpick and just make sure that's pressed in there. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Do the same thing with this one, but I'm gonna make a mark so I can kind of give myself a guide that's one of the cool things I love about craft foam is it's so easy to kind of mark your place and um, cut. Very, very easy to cut. Okay. Screw that back on. Take this, lay it right in there. Take 
my wood skewer. Okay, I'm gonna set that one aside as well. Grab my All right, now let me go ahead and get my heat gun. This is going to be loud for just a second. I want to uh, dry these eyes a little bit better, faster. Hi, Kim. Okay. So these are dry to the touch now. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I want to add two little lashes on each side. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to add them to the top and I'm going to start right up here on the top of the eye and I'm just going to pull and pull. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I still need this on unfortunately. Sorry you guys. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to Try to show. Pull and pull. Okay, there's our two little lashes. This one's a little bit short. Okay, there we go. You can add a nose if you want. I would say like a little half nose, kind of a curve, curve line or whatever. If you'd like, now let's add some blush. I am going to use this blush set. I really like it. And just a little tool, a little blush tool, so eyeshadow tool, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go for the middle one. Now this uh, palette, this blush palette is in my um, Amazon store as well. If you need it or are curious, it's very, very affordable. I think it was like four or six dollars or something like that. I can't remember for sure, but it has lasted me forever. I think I've had this for over a year already. Now on doing the um, on doing the cheeks, what I like to do is I like to go underneath the eye and over just a hair, so kind of off to the side of the eye. So that's where I'm going to put this. And I didn't test my load like I normally do. That's okay. So there's one cheek. And again, same thing. I'm going to come down the eye and over just a hair. And then I just go in a circular motion and start, I start in like a small circle and I make, then I start making bigger circles. Okay, there is. Okay. Alrighty, let's put this aside. Now I think these have set up, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to, oops, they are not quite ready yet. That's okay, we'll work on this piece. So now I'm going to take this piece and the part where I colored on the leaves, I want to be on the um, outside. So I'm going to lay this face down on my uh, heat source. I'm just going to let it activate. Now I'm going to twist in opposite, oh, I tore it. So see, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna twist hard. Okay, let me lay this back. Let me do this one. I'm glad I made a second one. Be gentle. Gotta remember that. Okay, let me let this cool off just a little bit because I think it was too loose. So now I'm gonna twist, this time holding the base. Twist, twist. I'm not, I'm not trying to tear it. And then I'm just going the opposite direction with every twist. And there is our leaf. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this on the back right here. I'll go ahead and reactivate some of these petals. want more of a bump. All right. 
Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, let me get, I, I touched the black and it wasn't quite um, dry. So let me do something really quick. Let's see if we can fix it. Hold on just a second. Goodness gracious. I'm trying to get a cotton ball really quick and see if I can get this to come off. And a little bit of, I can't believe I did that. A little bit of um, rubbing alcohol. I'm using 91% and hopefully this will take it off without a problem. Man, oh man. Okay, let me see if I can clean this up without taking off every other thing. Too funny, y'all. Man, I'll tell you what. There we go. That's better. Okay, moving right along, let's go ahead and fix that because I've removed a little bit of the black off of that eye. So I'm going to go ahead and re dip it just a little bit. Hopefully I can keep my hands out of it this time. Okay, we'll see if that will work. Ha! Ah, sorry, you guys. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's keep moving forward. I'm going to set this aside. I'm not going to touch her eye. Move this out of the way. Um, and now these should be good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers. I want to protect this because if I push hard, I'll push this little stem right through. So I want to protect that and lay it flat on my thumb and just kind of curve it like that. Okay. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to protect it. Just take your time so you don't pop through. Okay, so there's that. And then I like to take them and lay them on my heat source. And then I just kind of curve that leaf a little bit more. So it's not quite so stiff and straight. Those are done. Now we need to put on our stem. So let's try really hard not to uh, touch that eye. I'm scared, just saying. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to guide this up right here, centered. So just going down the center of her face. That's where I want to line up my skewer. And I'm just going to push just like that. Okay. And then now I'm going to take my hot glue and add a little dot inside there. Oh man, that's a little bit too much. Let me grab this. Okay. should be good now. Now I'm going to take this and stick it back in there. I want the line where my my uh, material ends to be facing the back of her and then I'll just push it in and hold it for a moment. Let me get that. Alrighty. Now I want to 
Make sure it's straight first. Okay. I want to test the pot. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue into the pot has a little, there's like a little hole inside the, the bottom. I'm going to add not enough to go all the way through, but just enough to go um, into the hole a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to stick this in there. Yeah, good deal. And just hold it straight. Perfect. Now I'm going to take these and I don't need this much stem, so I'm going to bend it a little bit. I've got hot glue spiderweb on me. Uh, let's add this to the back really quick. So let me put a little bit of hot glue on here. And then we're just going to press it without touching their eye, her eye right Okay. And then I'm going to take these and test where I want them, if I want them low or high. Now remember, we don't need this much wire on the end, so I'm going to take probably at least half of that wire off. Okay, oops. Now, test where I want it, right about there. Okay. And, you know what, I did do this, yes. Okay, so I'm going to take, I can't remember, I think that's my hot glue. I'm gonna add a little dot right there. Get it started. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, hold on. Now, once these grip, we're going to let them set for a second. I'm done with you. So let them let them hold on for a second, and then I will add. Once they are a little bit set, I'll add a little bit of um, super glue to the bottoms, to the sides, right there, and just kind of pinch it up, kind of like I did on this one. Hold on. Now, let's add a little dot of super glue. Uh -oh. So I'm going to add a little bit here and then on this side as well, just right on the edge of those petals. Now I'm going to kind of pinch them together. A 
And you can decorate your little um, pot if you'd like, however you'd like. It's completely up to you. And there she is. Let me get my turn with this set really quick. There is your little craft foam character, your little flower. Hold on just a second. All right, there you go. And you can paint your little pot. You could do some kind of a design. Um, you could do this craft with a child. I think that they would enjoy making uh, a little flower. These are very easy. They come together really quickly. Uh, a lot of fun. That's it. All right, well, I hope that you've enjoyed this little class. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And um, if you, let me zoom out, sorry. If you are interested, just letting you guys know, uh, I do have the Makers Club. We, again, I'll show you really quickly. We just finished making this character uh, in the Makers Club. This is one of the most recent. Uh, and we are gonna be working on some other fun things coming up really, really soon. But Anyway, if you want to be a part of the Makers Club, let me know. It is still available to join as of right now. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this class, and I hope that you make little flower, uh, felt fla craft foam flowers for yourself. Y'all have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.